Hey guys, welcome to Bumblebee Production. Today we'll bring you another video and we're gonna give you the rundown on the royal wedding. It's gonna be Harry this time, isn't it? Yep, Harry, Harry and Meghan. Hmm. I think it's different. gonna be good, yeah, something very something different for sure, yeah. So tell me, who's Harry? Harry is a prince of England. Well, there's many princes, aren't there? So <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you have Prince Harry. Prince William is his elder brother. And their father is Prince Charles. Yes. Yes. And their mom is Princess Diana, who mm -hmm. obviously everyone loves. Everybody loves. Including my mom this guy. loves. Yeah, not my, yeah, me as well. <laughs> my mom absolutely loves Princess Diana. She talks about her all the time. And Prince Harry is going to be married to a beautiful woman. Her name is Meghan Markle. Yes. I don't know whether I said the last name right. Yeah, no, you said it fine. My bad. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but she's an American actress. Mm -hmm. And. and you can find her in shows such as Suits. And I watch Suits. Suits is absolutely yeah. amazing. Yeah. You watch it all. Yeah, man. Yeah. <laughs> Suits is amazing. Oh, um, have we seen the wedding episode? I have seen the wedding episode. Oh, absolutely goodness. amazing. Uh, I mean, I, I don't really like her character in there. She really annoys me. Yeah. She, yeah. yeah. But check out Suits. She's in Suits. And um, <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, Princess Prince Harry. Princess Harry. Princess Prince Harry. Harry. Prince Harry <laughs> of England is getting married to Meghan Markle of America. And it's a great combination of two cultures that are coming together as one. It's gonna be different for her to be married to a prince where they got so much like tradition, yeah, protocols and things like that. Definitely. So coming from like someone who's a commoner mm -hmm. and then trying to adapt a lifestyle that they have, it's, it's gonna, gonna be a lot. Be, yeah, it's gonna be different, but mm -hmm. I'm sure it'll be good for her. Yeah, as a royal, you're born into that into that family, into that sort of. Um, lifestyle. Lifestyle. Right? Yeah. So you're accustomed to it. Whereas Megan's gonna have to learn to yeah. get into that. And the royal family are quite charitable. They tend to go around and doing quite a lot of charity yeah, work as well. Them, yeah. Which yeah. is pretty cool. But I guess with the wedding it's gonna be absolutely massive. I've seen that about I think it's a hundred thousand people have been invited. I could be wrong, but um Possibly, but only about six hundred or twelve hundred have been officially invited by the couple. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm assuming this is going to cost a lot of money, right? Yeah, from what I've heard, and I don't know whether the reports are right, mm. it's going to be 30 million Third pounds. So, huh? Yeah, 30 million pounds it's okay. going to cost. But I'm not sure whether the, it's going to come from the taxpayers or yeah, I think it's it going to be... So we're paying for this wedding. We're, we're paying for this wedding. Pretty much, yeah. Yeah. So it's like me and you use taxes and stuff. Pre pre pretty much, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but at least we get to watch it on TV anyway. That's our invite, really. I better have my scones and my teas, man. Damn straight. That's all I want. So it's going to be a joyous occasion. This is going to be the second wedding in our lifetime, I would say. The first one will be Prince William and Kate Middleton. I think. Yep. Yeah, which was quite massive. And now it we're going to have... That was big. That was really, compared really Compared to this one. They wanted to consider having a bank holiday for the occasion, but they never really went through with it. And just for you no, guys who don't no. know what a bank holiday is, what's a bank holiday? It's basically... It normally happens on Monday and where everyone in England is not working. Pretty Definitely much. no one in England. Yeah. Unless you're... Something to do with the medic or the police or the firefighters. Yeah, you can't really stop working there, can you? Yeah, basically any of those like essential, you know, um, what's the word for it? Essential services. Yeah. Then you would not work. Some of them may be off, mm -hmm. but most probably all of them will be full staff. Yeah. If not full staff, it will be like a skeleton crew. Mm. You know? And if you're lucky, you'll get like 1.5 times your normal pay or maybe yeah. two times your normal pay for that day. So it's really, really good. It would be nice, yeah. Yeah. So also, I have news that Megan isn't going to have a maid of honor because she doesn't want to Wait, choose. Is she? Yeah, no, no, she's not because she doesn't want to choose between all of her friends. Yeah. And on who's going to be the maid of honor. So you know, you have a lot of close friends. Yeah, yeah. You don't really want to choose between and one of them. That's I close. just saw on Twitter because I was brushing through that her on-screen husband has come, come here. With the one from Suits? Yeah. Woo! Um, and they just went to like, I don't know what it was today or the other day, they went to like an old English pub oh, wow. with his wife and daughter and a few from few other actors and actresses as well from the, the TV program. Yeah. Oh, they that's all really come cool. And then I think they got invited as well. Yeah. I hope they would have. <laughs> Unless why would they come here, you know? But then who wouldn't be invited? I don't know whether we want to get into this. I mean, we might as well. We want to tell the <laughs> we want to tell the viewers what they need to know, but don't we? 
her stepbrother, Dave, I think it's David Jr. or something like that, mm. and her sister, well, stepsister from another mother, yeah, they both got not invited by Megan because of some domestics, some problems, some issues. Some issues, some family issues that they have. Yeah. And um, I'm already sure you, or most of you guys know what's been happening because her stepsister has been everywhere in the news recently. I mean, you know, family's family. But then again, it comes down to who you're really close to. You want to invite to your yes. wedding, right? Your wedding's basically... It should all be on you, obviously. Yeah. But obviously, it's gonna be like people who you chose who's gonna come. Yeah. It could be a really close, like family wedding. Mm. Only the people that's very close to you and your family, or it could be a big wedding like that, where they could invite just everyone. Definitely. But what would you go to? Would you go to a traditional family wedding, or hmm. would you go just invite everyone that you know? I think in my wedding, personally, I'd want to just invite the people that I know. Yeah. Um, I want it to be a nice, intimate wedding. But I'm from Nigerian descent, so that's highly mm. unlikely. Yeah. I'm gonna have my mom bringing people that I've never met, <laughs> or people that have said they claim to know me when I was a kid. I wouldn't remember you, yeah. so I don't know why you're coming. But, um, but yeah, so I'd prefer to have an intimate wedding, but then I, I know my mom would interject, unfortunately. Well, let's just say you got to put your foot down. Yeah, I Unless mean, she actually pays for some bit of the wedding. Yeah. If not, then it's okay to put your foot down. But if she did pay for the, some of the wedding, mm. you got no other choice, I friend. Yeah, so I'm going to try and foot the bill on my own, if possible. <laughs> <laughs> so I can, have, I can make those decisions But then again you want to make your mother happy So she's been looking forward to that day Yes, um, that's yeah. true But let me emphasize, it's your wedding it isn't is. it? Well, it's the wife's wedding now isn't it? Well, your worst And your wife's wedding Well, that's what I'd like to believe <laughs> But, you know, the wife likes to take control And say it's her wedding So, you know, whatever the wife wants Is what I go with As long as I have my cigar and drink, I'm happy, man Yeah, you, you, you tend to like that quite a lot, don't you? So with the royal wedding, it's going to be taking place in Windsor, and that's quite a famous location. Nice place, though. Don't very, know. very, very nice place. Very nice. You can yeah. drive past it. So, but obviously, all the roads will be locked off. That's the thing as well. So leading up to it, from what I've seen on the news, almost every road is either blocked or there's a lot of like airport-style security check-in. And on top of that, there tends to be quite a lot of homeless people sleeping around in the area. It seems yes. they've been dragged away from, you know, from the what I've read, um, they're supposed to be put like in some type of housing. I don't know whether they're gonna stay there mm. or, or well, it would be nice for them to stay there, or they'll just be like be put in there for the moment until all of this blow off. Yeah. Or and then yeah, that's it. I mean, it's kind of sad. I'd prefer them to be put in a permanent housing location, something yeah. that would give them and you know somewhere to sleep. But not not temporarily just because of the wedding. But you know, I really hope that they get to stay somewhere permanent. But the wedding is going to be on TV and it's going to be taking place. We're actually recording this on a Friday, so it's going to be just, taking place uh, tomorrow. 18th. Yeah. Yeah. So British people will be able to catch on TV. But I think it's going to be on BBC, which is the national. Most uh, yeah, it's definitely on BBC because um, yeah. they pretty much broadcast everywhere. Yeah. yeah, so it's gonna be really good. So, to be honest with you, the way that's been leading up to the wedding, I haven't really been paying attention. Maybe mm -hmm. a little bit of snips and that from the news. Yeah, but maybe tomorrow it will change. You know, maybe it will change. I'm 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 quite happy for Harry because he's my favorite royal member. To be fair, to be honest with you, I prefer the older brother. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why? He's more mature. Come on. Well, he's older. Of course, he's more <laughs> mature. <laughs> I mean, Harry has had his ups and his downs, but I like that about him because he's relatable. So, yeah, he did. Um, well, what do you call? It's like the. Uh, I think it's like the royal bad boy of the family, though. Isn't you he? could you could say that he was a little rebel. <laughs> But now he's There's grown the up. the Vegas incident. Yeah. Things like that. I'm sure he wants to forget about all of that. You could look that up and trust I me. I probably don't want to look that up. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm happy for him. He's grown up. He's, Definitely, yeah. And I'm sure Princess Diana would be proud of him, of what he's accomplished so far. Yeah. Stuff like the Invictus Games, right? He did create that on his own, yeah. Yeah. And it's mostly for the veterans of um, 
the British Army, but obviously being friends from, with the former president of the United States, mm. they brought over to the States and obviously all of their veterans as well. And yeah. Had their own kind of Olympic Games, really. Which is actually really good of him and actually really nice for him to create all of that just for them, you know? Yeah, 100%. And yeah, he's like his own little like creation that he put, put together. Yeah. yeah. So I think Megan's going to have to learn to adapt to that sort of thing. But she seems like quite a charitable person. So yeah. I think she'd be really fond of doing a lot of charitable work and helping people around the place. Yeah, that would be nice. Yeah. So yeah, she's got a lot of uh, work on her hands. Not only that, she got to adapt to the whole royal protocol. Isn't yeah, she? all of that stuff. So you have to change your whole lifestyle. Being an American actress, you have to... Obviously, she sees to the whole photographs and mm. things like that. But now she can't even, like, take a selfie with a um, fan or signature. Um, what you call it? Yeah, taking the signature. Yeah, signature. autograph. Yeah, autograph, that's the one. <laughs> <laughs> and she even have to delete her, like... Um, social media stuff, yeah, even yeah. her vlog yeah. website and stuff. Wow, so that's a lot of change. Like, it's a lot to give up. Would you be okay with giving it up? Or? I also think it's not about just giving up. It goes a lot into it that whether you're like really love the person and you're, mm. you're prepared to adjust your lifestyle for of them. Of course, definitely. If it that's what you want and then you really love the person, I shouldn't see why not. I mean, come on, we live without it. Well, our generation anyway, we live without internet for really um instagram facebook and all of this stuff mm. so i don't think it won't be a problem coming back to it yeah you know for sure also megan is half black half white yes that's true so she has a bit of african-american side in her i know that a lot of people from uh the black side of black ethnicity i'd say yeah black is black ethnicity black is a race Black is a race. Black is a race. <laughs> so people... They just open up a kind of warm I, I did, I did. <laughs> <laughs> so, whew. Bless oh. you. Thank you. There's a lot of black people on social media who are quite happy about the wedding. Um, a few of them, you'd say, are African as well. So they want to see, you know, some of them represent wear some African attire. <laughs> I don't really think she should go for that because she hasn't... She's not really, like... African, yeah. like she's African American, but she hasn't really lived yeah. in African sort of. And I don't think it's that. I don't think if she did decide to do that, I don't think the family, the royal family, wouldn't have a problem with it. Yeah, but, I mean they em embrace culture, really. Yeah. So I mean they go all around the world with the Commonwealth and so forth. So yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. But either way, I think it's going to be a joyous occasion, and it's a great moment in British history. That's for sure. I still can't believe we're going to have a second royal wedding in our generation. In our though. generation. This is really good. Especially in a city that was only 40 minutes away by train or car. Exactly. So So we feel like kind of lucky, I guess, in a yeah. way, to be able to see it in our lifetime. Yeah, definitely. This and now, good. the next one is probably... Um, Prince William's Prince son. Son, daughter, and then another son. Isn't yeah, it? and they, got, they just had another baby as well. Yes, so. that's right. Um, The last... There are no... Their son only been born a couple of days ago, sometime a week or two ago, yeah. I believe. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, the next wedding will be in their lifetime, wherever that might be, you know. 100%. Also received word that Prince Charles is going to be the one walking Meghan down the aisle. Yes, because um, unfortunately, Meghan's dad has been a heart surgery or something had like a, that. Yeah, so he had a bit of pain in his chest and he wasn't able to come down yes, towards the wedding. So, Prince Charles has got to take Meghan down. At first, I thought it was the mother because that's what has been talks in the news. Yeah. But we just read that it was gonna be yeah, Prince Charles. Yeah. I think it's tradition that you know you'd have a father figure take you down the aisle or yes, a that's male right. figure. It should yeah. I think it could be anyone. Mm. As, it could also be either parents, but might I think be protocol it's, with the royal family, royal family probably. But ultimately, it all depends on Meghan, isn't it? That's true. But obviously, it would be nice just to have like a father figure to walk her down. Definitely, you know, definitely for sure. So, hopefully, her, her father has a nice recovery. We really hope she has a, he has a nice recovery, and the royal wedding is gonna be a real treat to the people. It would be nice just to see it again. Definitely, I'm hoping you wouldn't like. Is it foreshadow the actual wedding that they have, like the last time? Yeah. 
Well, I think okay. some. Yeah, the last one kind of went overboard. It was a lot. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, that is our take on the royal wedding. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to share, like, and subscribe to our channel. Because we'll be re bringing more videos towards you not too long from now. It's that we're just building on so many scripts. So so many stuff. We have and a lot of And this guy's been busy. I've been quite busy. Yeah. With the holidays. I mean the holidays. Few stuff. I mean yeah. and the holidays. And and, and the holidays, <laughs> yeah. So yeah. If you think that you're gonna have a small wedding or a large wedding, let us know in the comments below. Interact with us a bit. We'll be or could it be like a traditional wedding or a white wedding. Really big wedding, yeah. Really, really big wedding. Let us know in the comments below. Yeah. So we'll catch you at a later <laughs> date. More videos to come from Bumblebee Productions. Myself, David. And myself, Robert. Peace Bye. Out.